Okay guys, today's video is going to be here on my Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch device. Uh, another ROM has been re released for this device. So let me just go ahead and show you what I'm working with so everybody's on the same page here. Like I said, Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. This is the model number SM-T210R and this is the stock system I'm working with right here. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to install this ROM. This is called Rocket Tab. And um, you're going to obviously need to have an unlocked, well, custom recovery installed, all that kind of stuff. Unlocked bootloader, all those kind of goodies to install this. If you don't have any of those things, those prerequisites, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel, playlist for the Galaxy Tab 3, or RootJunkie.com. Either place is going to have all my videos on this device. So. First things first is we're going to download a couple files and let me just show you where I've got mine stored at. So it should be here and downloads. So these are the two files you guys are going to need. You're going to need to have rocket tab zip and rocket tab full. Um, the rocket tab zip is actually the ROM and then full is an addition you would flash if you want all of your Samsung apps back. This is like the stripped down bare minimum stuff and this is everything on top of the bare minimum. So we're just going to install, I'm going to install this one which is called Light, and then we're going to possibly install that one afterwards just so you can see a difference on it. So that's what you're going to need. Um, like I said, custom recovery installed. I think I have uh, Clockwork, well Team Win Recovery Project I think is what I have installed. So I'm going to boot to recovery and I'm going to use Goo Manager to do it just because it's easy. Reboot to recovery. Um, like I said, if you aren't up to speed on what I'm doing right here and you don't, you're lost in some of these steps I've already done, just, just watch those other videos because it's going to really get you up to speed on this device and how it should be functioning. So here is Team Win Recovery Project or Torp Recovery. And uh, we're just going to go through the couple processes here. I would recommend go ahead and doing a an Android backup, which would be here, and sliding across to do that. I'm not going to do that because you can see I have some older restore files here that I can restore to if I need to. So I'm just going to go straight into wipes. And what we're going to do is kind of go right down this top row right here. So cache, back, Delvic, back, factory reset, back. And I'm going to leave system. I don't think we need to wipe that one technically. So then we're going to go back, go to installs, and you can see I have some infamous tab stuff right there. But I'm going to go to internal storage and go to downloads. And we're going to just flash the zip, which is the top one there, and go ahead and flash it. So this shouldn't take too long. It's not a huge file. I think we're about 300 megabytes, 300, something like that, and or 400 maybe. And then the actual extra applications is about another 300 or 400 megabytes as well. Um, so pretty simple process. Like you say, it's not hard. I'm going to let this flash and we'll boot this thing up. Okay, so the flash has completed. So at this point, if you want all of the um, Samsung applications to come with the device, you, you would just go back here and pick the full zip, the one that says full, and click it like here swipe across and flash it also but I want to see how the stripped down version looks I mean that's an option if you want so we're just gonna back out go to reboot reboot system spin this thing around not sure what our boot animation is gonna be so I want to see if it's different than stock uh, see if this developer for rocket tab has changed it up at all for us and he has so there you go rocket tab I, I dig it I like the boot animation that'll flame off the engine there uh, very, very cool. Definitely digging uh, the boot animation here. So let's just boot up and we'll go through uh, what's in this, in this uh, ROM. Okay, so you can see we have uh, booted up here. First thing it does is it thinks it's in Dutch set up defaultly. So we got to uh, change the uh, language on this thing. Obviously, let's see here. Where is English? English, English, United States, English. There it is. And then we can hit next. And, you know, do your Wi-Fi setup. I'll go ahead and put this in. Okay, so I'm connected. 
and it says some time zone stuff next I understand no thanks just going through the setup procedure skip not now not now okay there we go setup should be completed this says account I'm just not gonna do it right now and here we go this should be the rocket tab ROM so pretty basic right here you got a couple apps on the screen that's about it press and hold to add an item so you can add a widget and some stuff from your app drawer and you know add uh, shoot I don't know Google now or something if you want no cards because I haven't signed into my account. Let's go ahead and see what we have here for applications. Um, so you can see it's pretty basic. You got camera navigation, um, fast GPS, that is an added feature. Flash player is obviously an added feature. Super Sue for root access. Um, standard, you know, with any custom ROM really. Uh, let's see what else we got here. And ghost commands. So that is all your applications in the light version. Ghost commands are right here. Talks about them a little bit there. And some different things you can do. Local star storage, FTP sites, um, window sharing, some application stuff, exit, close application. Let's see what we have here. So different information on apps and different things you can do for it. Not too much too familiar with ghost commands. I have seen it in a couple other ROMs but haven't played with it myself too much um, so there you go that's all you got here let's go ahead and see what you got for a drop down uh, pretty much standard nothing too exciting right there and settings uh, let's go to about device also pretty standard um, basically what this is is this is a tweaked ROM that is tweaked for speed and customization and um, and nice little extra apps and different things in there as well. So you can see this is basically going to give you a very much a stock Google experience more or less because almost all the Samsung stuff is pulled out if you want to run the ROM like this or like I said flash that other zip and get all the rest of that stuff back preferred however you want it. This is going to run better because you're going to use less RAM this way and if you want you can just you know pick and choose the applications out of that zip instead of installing all of them uh, if you want to do it that way. So for example, um, I don't see a file browser in here. If I had a file browser, I think Ghost Commands has one. Let's see. Mm, not really sure. Local storage. Yeah, so if I come into here and I were to find my zip for full, I could go ahead and click into it, apps, and then I could actually extract these apps individually and install them just the stuff I wanted if I wanted to do that so through ghost commands you can do that which is yeah, it's pretty nice those features are at least in there All right, that's my review of rocket tab uh, it does seem to run quite a bit smoother here I can tell that already in the transition screens just because it has so much less on it um, so not a bad little ROM uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this review guys as always all of my links to everything are in the video description down below that's it Root Junkie out.